Welcome to our little one interactive folio album tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters and I'm excited to teach you how to take our brand new interactive folio and use all the pieces to create this masterpiece. This little one interactive folio is packed with gorgeous details and pattern papers, of course. So just kicking it off with a great photo mat here on the left and already so much fun to be had. So we've got these nice zigzag pockets here, here, and even these zigzag waterfall elements. So Carla's taken some of our waterfall elements that come in that folio and really personalized them by uh, changing things up, which we always love. And so, so many opportunities for pockets. And then opening this up, we've got a great belly band. This would be great for adding in some larger uh, memorabilia. Two more pockets with uh, complete with tuck spots and little pockets. And then when you open this up, it's going to unveil this cute little belly band that slides up and down to lock and unlock this wallet folio. So we'd love to hear how are you gonna be using your little one folio, maybe as a gift, maybe you'll be uh, putting your own baby photos in here. Let us know in the comments below. This interactive folio has been created for us by Carla Lavera using our album kit volume three for 2023. In your volume three album kit, you're gonna get a graphic 45 bag, the little one 12 by 12 collection papers. You get two of each of these for a total of 16 double-sided sheets. The step-by-step project sheet, the little one ephemera assortment pieces. You're gonna get 48 pieces in there. Our ivory interactive folio album with seven different uh, interchangeable pieces. The ivory and silver washi tape and this exclusive subscriber little one button. A few extra kits will receive these buttons, but the only way to guarantee getting our uh, each month's exclusive buttons is to become a subscriber. Now you can pick up that kit on our website at g45papers.com or down at your local Graphic 45 retailer. So we encourage you, even if it's just to grab your papers at home and learn along with us to do so, and let's start creating and have some fun. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna give you all the measurements and the step-by-step -step directions, but it can always be helpful to have this project sheet at your side. You can get this in your kit, or you can pick this up on our website, g45papers.com. Just go up to that inspiration tab and down to project sheets. The first thing we're gonna do is grab our interactive folio album, and we are going to take off the plastic wrap, open it up, and there's a little bag inside with all your different interactive pieces. The first one we're working with is the piece we call the wallet folder. Step one, we're gonna take this upsy daisies paper and we're gonna cut this large piece to be five and three eighths by eight and three eighths. And then we're gonna cut two pieces that are gonna be one inch by eight and three eighths. And then we're gonna cut out two pieces of Oh Darling to be four inches by eight and three eighths. Adhere all five of those pieces into the center of your wallet folder. Cut and adhere a piece of balloon bouquet to the bottom flap. That is a five and three eighths by four and three eighths. Cut a second piece of balloon bouquet to those same dimensions, five and three eighths by four and three eighths. And this time we're going to adhere the green side to our top flap. Next, we are gonna grab this border strip from Bundle of Joy. It's been cut to five and three eighths. And I've just added adhesive on either side. This way I could use it as a belly band if I wanted to, or I could always slide in a photo that was um, slightly underneath here, and then I could seal it up if I wanted to at that point. I'm gonna grab a banner piece from our ephemera assortment, and instead of searching inside of this little bag, I'm gonna pour all of my pieces into this cute little cottage life box we created last year. And I'm gonna sort through my pieces 
this way, and then when I'm done with this project, I can slide them all back into that container. So this is the banner I'm looking for, easy peasy. Add adhesive, I'm just doing it to the top so I can slide a photo in underneath if I'd like. And this is gonna go on our stripes in the center. Step four, we're gonna cut the top right corner of our signature page from a little one. And this is going to be five and one eighth by eight and three eighths. Next, we're gonna take our ivory washi tape and we're gonna put this about an inch up from the bottom. And then I'm going to trim, leaving about a half an inch to an inch on either side. And to make sure I'm getting a good connection, I'm also going to use a bit of liquid adhesive. We love washi tape for so many reasons. It's great for um, pulling up when you don't need a permanent adhesive for, you know, like a kind of a sticky note kind of vibe. So if you just want it to be permanent, just add a bit of your favorite adhesive and voila. Look at that shine and shimmer. And then grab these three ephemera, adhere them down. And now we're gonna add this piece to our right flap. Next, we're gonna cut a piece of little one, our signature page, to be three and a half inches by eight and three eighths. Now we are going to adhere this to the front of our left panel, all the way to the left. From Bundle of Joy, we're gonna cut this piece to be three inches by eight and three eighths. Then we're going to add washi over that stamp edge and then we're just going to add a bit of adhesive just like we did before and then we're going to add our adhesive in a u shape and we're going to create a cute little pocket on our left hand flap so our pocket will be coming from the left and now we have this great little pocket so we're gonna close up our folio and then we're gonna cut out two pieces of a lullaby land that are five and three eighths by four and three eighths. Adhere those down a rainbow side up. Step seven, our first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this rectangle out of the paper pack cover and we're gonna be using that top left corner. This is gonna be cut to four and three eighths by six and a quarter and the directions that says four and uh, three quarters, but it's a little bit smaller, so it's four and three eighths. Then we're gonna cut out this bundle of joy piece from our bundle of joy paper and this lullaby land paper. This has been cut to four and a quarter by two and a half. In the directions, it says four and five eighths, but it's scaled down a little bit smaller to four and a quarter. We're going to adhere the bundle of joy just right in the center of our front of our paper pad cover. And this is gonna go on the reverse side on the bottom. So next, we're gonna put this on our top flap. This is gonna be how we keep this uh, wallet folder shut. And I just want to place this about half of an inch from the top and equal on the sides. So now where I know where I like my placement, I'm gonna hold my finger and I'm just going to add my adhesive above this area. I'm using art glitter glue. It's uh, my favorite liquid glue to use, but of course you could use uh, whatever you prefer. From the bottom of the paper pack cover, we've cut this piece to be 12 inches by one and a quarter. Score this bad boy at three inches and eight and five eighths. And then fold those both in on those score lines. And then we're gonna make sure this is gonna fit on our bottom flap here. This is gonna be our sliding belly band that's going to lock our uh, wallet folder into place. So mine fits beautifully, so I can go ahead and add adhesive like so. And then we're gonna cut a bundle of joy border to be five and a half inches and adhere that to the top of your belly band and then just slide this belly band over your bottom flap. And then to lock this up, we're gonna put our bundle of joy image on the top and then this will slide over that. So stinking cute. Beautiful, beautiful. 
step nine, we're gonna do our big pocket pages. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Hello Baby paper, and we've cut this to be 12 inches by eight and three eighths. And now from the bottom right edge, we are going to mark at three inches. So next we want to be cutting from our top left to our mark on our right. However, my tra paper trimmers aren't big enough for that, so I'm gonna try a different trick. Of course, you can use a ruler and line this up and then cut it out, but I'm gonna try using my washi tape because we are gonna be putting some washi tape here anyway. Cut off the excess and let's trim this out. So I'm going to remove my washi tape for now, but save this. Let's do some scoring. These are, are gonna be our diagonal pockets, which I'm excited about. And so we wanna do our first score at five and three eighths. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do another score at 10 and three quarters. Add a thin line of adhesive at the very top of your paper. And then we're gonna take that washi tape and we're going to balance this halfway on the top. So just have halfway on this side and then we're gonna fold this over and do the other half on the other side. And I'm just gonna let this dry for a second. And then go ahead and flip this over and add another line of adhesive on the other side. And fold this down. And then just trim off the excess with your scissors. such a cute little edging technique. So now we're gonna take where we did our score lines and just start to fold on those. Making sure to smooth out your washi tape if needed and then fold this last bit over to the back. And let's go ahead and adhere that shut so I'm just putting adhesive on the bottom two sections here, our smallest two bottom sections, and going to seal our pocket shut. Now we are going to do the same thing with our balloon bouquet paper, but reverse. So this paper was cut to 12 inches by eight and three eighths, which is the same. But this time we marked on our left hand side at three inches and uh, cut on that diagonal up to the top right. So this time we are going to score at one and a quarter and six and five eighths. Add your line of adhesive at the top and put your washi halfway over the top of that. Flip it over, add your adhesive on the other side and fold this over. And then go ahead and score on those crease lines. And mine wasn't wanting to fit to tuck behind my paper and it was showing a bit of my edge of my balloons. So I just went back in with my uh, scoreboard and just scored this a little bit closer to the uh, right hand edge. So now it does uh, neatly tuck around the back and I like that look more. So if you find that you have that same problem with either side, uh, that's just a little tip on how to fix that. So once you have it uh, fitting like you like, let's just go ahead and adhere our pocket closed. So now that we have these done, we are going to cut two pieces of just arrived to be five and three eighths by three and five eighths. Grab your two full pocket pages that look like this 
and we are going to do some tracing. So I want one of my pocket pages to have my tab on the left side and one of my pocket pages to have the tab on the right side. So I'm going to get this how I like it. I'm just going to use a little paper clip to hold it in place and then I'm going to trace with a pencil on the back. And of course, you can always take your scissors and cut around that, leaving about an eighth of an inch of room on this um, side of your pencil mark. But I'm just going to take a one inch hole punch. It's not quite the same dimensions, but I like this look better than me trying to cut it myself. And once I like how it's placed in the center. I'm just gonna go ahead and punch that out. And then this will fit nicely at the top of my pocket. You can see it is a little bit larger on the sides than it is on the bottom. However, I like that better than me trying to cut it myself. So you do you. Adhere those down. And then in a U shape, add adhesive to your large diagonal pockets that we've created. And we're gonna put our balloons on our right hand page with the right tab and the floral with the left page with the left tab. Cut out these two images from Bundle of Joy. Add your adhesive in a U shape to create cute little pockets on the top of your diagonal pockets. So you gotta love this. We've got a big large pocket here another two more pockets here and a little one here. Flip over your pockets and then we're going to cut out two more pieces of just arrived, this time to five and three eighths by eight and three eighths. Again, trace and cut out your little half circle. Adhere those both down. Step 13, we've got a piece of little one that we've cut to three inches by eight and three eighths. Then we're going to just take our washi and put it halfway on both sides carefully flip this over and then I'm going to add my adhesive and start to roll over my other half. I like to start in the center and start working my way outward. Add adhesive on the top and bottom. We're creating our little belly band here. And now I'm also noticing that we didn't need to notch our paper on this one. So if you haven't done it yet, you only need to do it on the left hand one. So I'm going to need to clean up my adhesive on the back side. Grab these four pieces from your ephemera, add your clock and the bunny, next the basket, and then your O oh Darling banner. Next, we're going to take one of your pre-made waterfalls that comes in your folio and we are going to alter it a little bit to add a little extra excitement. So to create this, we're going to take a ruler and on the right edge on our waterfall page number one, we're going to mark this at a half of an inch and then we'll do the same on three waterfall page five as well. And then we're going to take our ruler and on page two, We'll do it on the left hand edge and we'll do the same on page four like so and then we're going to just start from the top and with our paper trimmer we're going to have our unmarked edge at the bottom here and then where our marked edge is it's going to go right through there on our cutting board so you can see we'll be cutting at an angle like so and then we'll just keep doing that as we go down so next, I've got our page number two on the left and I've got it going up to the top right. And you can see when those fold down, I've started to create my little zigzag. And you'll just do this with all five of those. So there you have it, we're all cut up and it's so cute. For step 15, we're gonna cut out five pieces. They're all gonna be four and three eighths by six and three eighths. We're gonna cut out two from Lullaby Land and one from Hello Baby. We're gonna cut out one from Upsy Daisies and one from Balloon Bouquet. 
And we're gonna do the same thing we just did with our waterfall, where on these three, we're gonna mark half of an inch up from the right hand side and these two will be marked up a half of an inch from the left hand side and then you'll just uh, cut on those score lines so you have a nice diagonal just like in our waterfall adhere these down in this order Step 16, we're cutting this piece of O oh Darling to be three and three quarters by four and five eighths, and this piece of Little One to be three and a half by four and three eighths. Adhere these together and then adhere them to your water. Grab these four ephemera pieces and five and a half inches of twine. Tie on one side and double knot that of your twine, and then we're going to wrap our longer side to the other hole. And we want to kind of play around with how long we want this to be. So I'm going to play the, place this about where I want it on my stars, about a quarter of an inch from the top. And I want this to hang down maybe an inch or so. So I think that is looking good once we straighten it out. So now I'm just going to tie this and then double knot it trim off the excess. So now we have a little area to hang up our clothes. So add on your foam adhesive and adhere this down. Next we're just going to arrange our clothes on our little clothesline and then once you like the placement then we can go ahead and start adhering things down some adhesive especially on that hanger there and this is gonna hang right in the center add your adhesive onto your next little outfit and adhere that down my third and final outfit I'm gonna pull my string so it's looking a little cleaner We're gonna take that second pre-made waterfall and turn it into this. So we're gonna take our first waterfall page here and we're gonna score this at one and a half inches. And then this will fold up. And then on the other four waterfall pieces, we're gonna be cutting off an inch and a half from the bottom. So just line those pages up and trim an inch and a half. And do that with all of those. So you'll end up looking like this. Step 18, we've cut O oh Darling to be four and three eighths by three and five eighths. And this balloon bouquet piece is four and three eighths by one and three eighths. Adhere O oh Darling to the top of your waterfall page one. To the folded up edge that we scored, we're going to add our balloon bouquet here. Next, we're going to take that ivory washi and we're going to add two rows of this to our front pocket. So I'm just going to do one at a time. Now we can adhere our sides of our pocket down. I'm going to use a nice liquid adhesive. And then I use some foam adhesive and added that bundle of joy stamp. And then add your O oh Darling to the underside. Step 20, we're gonna cut out four pieces that are gonna be four and three eighths by four and seven eighths. We've got Upsy Daisies, Hello Baby, Balloon Bouquet, and Lullaby Land. Adhere those onto your waterfall pages. And then adhere this onto your yellow bunny rattle side. So we have one pocket page that looks like this and one that looks like this. So now we're gonna start working on our half pockets and I'm just going to adhere this pocket shut there on the seam like so. And 
we're going to take a piece of O Darling that's been cut to four and three eighths by four and three eighths. Clip that paper in place and then trace out your notch. Using my one and a quarter inch circle punch, I just half punched that out. And now with my tab on the left hand side, we can adhere this onto our pocket. From the just arriving paper, we cut out two stamps. And then I've added adhesive on the back of this one in an L shape and just on the bottom of this one. That way we've got a nice little tuck spot for anything you want to slide in there. For step 22, we have repeated a lot of our step 21 steps where we've taken uh, O Darling and cut it to four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Um, we've traced and notched out our circle. And now we're gonna create a little pocket with this Hello Baby. Um, this is from our bundle of joy paper. Add your adhesive in a U shape and there you have it. And with this one, we wanna make sure our tab is on the right. And then grab these cute little tags from your ephemera assortments and tuck those in. Step 23, we're gonna cut out these two pieces. This one's upsy daisies, that's one inch by four and three eighths. And this one is three and a quarter by four and three eighths and it's oh darling. Adhere here your stripes next to the tab on the right. And then we're gonna just trace and notch that out. And then adhere that down. And then with our other pocket, we're gonna do a similar design. We're gonna take these two pieces. This upsy daisy is four and three eighths by one inch. And our O oh Darling paper is four and three eighths by three and a quarter. Pat yourself on the back. We've completed all of our inserts. So now these are just gonna go to the side. While we work on our cover. So the cover of your trifold looks like this. It's just a naked album, which we love. Of course, you can make one of these um, from scratch as well. We have lots of tutorials that teach you how to do this. So if you wanna look for uh, something similar, you can check out our Twas the Night Before Christmas uh, trifold folio. We make um, something very similar to this, so. But now we're going to work on decorating our already made one, which we love. And we're gonna take our little one signature page and we've cut out, uh, our first piece is gonna be from the upper right hand corner. And this is five and seven eighths of an inch by eight and seven eighths of an inch. And then we're gonna take this piece, it's gonna be our back piece and it's going to be those same dimensions. So five by seven, five and seven eighths of an inch by eight and seven eighths of an inch. And then with Upsy Daisy, we're gonna cut out two pieces that are slightly different. This one is one and a half by eight and seven eighths, and the smaller one is one and three eighths by eight and seven eighths. Adhere these like shown, so our smaller of the spine pieces is uh, this one next to our inside magnet. This is our back, this is our one of our spines, and our front. Step 26, we're gonna cut a piece of a little one to be two and five eighths of an inch by eight and seven eighths of an inch. We're gonna cut a piece of Upsy Daisy to be one and a quarter by eight and seven eighths, and another piece of Upsy Daisy to be one and three quarters by eight and seven eighths. Adhere those. So it should look like this. Now we're gonna flip this over to work on the inside. Adhere a piece of bundle of joy that's five and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths to the inside left of your folio. And then on the right side of the inside of the folio, we've cut another piece of bundle of joy to be five and three quarters by eight and seven eighths. Now we're going to decorate our front cover. So we're gonna add some dimension to the front using our paper pad cover. So we are just going to fussy cut loosely out these three balloons and this branch. And then once you have that, then you're gonna take your fine tip scissors and go in and we're going to cut the branch and the brown balloon as one piece and these other two as separate pieces. Grab the rainbow piece from your ephemera pack and we're going to adhere this in the top left corner. 
And then we're just going to adhere our yellow balloon right on top of our yellow balloon. It just adds that nice little gloss to the cover. Taking some foam adhesive to pop up my purple balloon, adding that shadow and dimension. And then with our brown little one balloon, I've done two layers of that adhesive on our balloon. And then on the branch, I'm just gonna use some liquid adhesive. Your ephemera assortment pieces add this welcome stamp and this cute little romper. From our little one, we've got this scrap that we've cut to be three and a half by one and a half. And then we're taking this Hello Baby ephemera piece that's been popped up. That's going to adhere right on top. Add some more foam adhesive to the back and then this is going to adhere in our bottom right hand corner. And now we have completed that gorgeous cover. And we're gonna open this up and adhere our balloon bouquet inside. And this piece of balloon bouquet has been cut to four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Adhere your balloon and cradle ephemera piece in the bottom left corner. And then we're going to grab this little welcome banner and put it in the center over the top. Now it's time to adhere all of our different elements. And of course, the beauty of this folio is that you can mix and match these. You can leave some of these out if you want, or you can put them in whatever arrangement you'd like. I'll show you how we're doing it in the project sheet, um, and then give you some other fun ideas. So this is the first thing that's going to go down, which goes down right in the center. Of course, you could put this pink paper in the center and put this one over here. Uh, you could even add a magnet to the back of this and a magnet here and um, have another piece of paper here where that could be a large photo mat that you could pull this out and this could be a separate element that you could look at separately. But we're going to adhere this to the center. And because this folio is going to get a lot of love and attention, I'm going to use both some dry adhesive as well as some liquid adhesive when adhering my pieces down. So I've got my score tape down and now I'm just going to do a layer of some uh, liquid adhesive as well. The liquid also helps so we can adjust and move around with the uh, score tape so it's not so permanent at the very beginning. Find your placement you like and go ahead and burnish that down. And just a little pro tip, if you want to cover up the back of this belly band, I've cut a piece of scrap paper to be five and a half inches by one and one eighth. And I'm just going to adhere that over the top so it's nice and decorative from every angle. Next, adhere your zigzag waterfall to the right of your folio. Whenever you're adhering these pieces, you wanna make sure that everything's gonna open and shut beautifully. So just test that out before adhering things down. Next, we are going to adhere these two pieces together. So I've just folded my flaps back and forth each direction. And then I'm going to add adhesive to my half pocket, making sure my tab is on the left-hand side. And then this is gonna go underneath my half-inch tab on my large pocket. And I'm gonna make sure this is about just about a quarter of an inch up from the bottom. Once that has dried, we're going to add adhesive to this long half inch flap now. And then this is going to adhere on our left inch, our left hand spine, and we're gonna leave about a half of an inch from the left hand side, so making sure it's equal distance from top and bottom, and then go ahead and burnish that down. So just make sure all your pockets are moving back and forth like you'd like them to. And that's nice and dried, and we'll move over to this one. Now we're gonna work with our other pocket pages, and again, just move those tabs, fold them back and forth on both the large and the small, 
And then we're going to add some adhesive to our half inch or a half pocket page on the half inch tab. And we're going to adhere this about three quarters of an inch from the top, making sure everything's going to lay nice and flat and move beautifully. I've left about an eighth of an inch of room between a section here and this flap, leaving a quarter of an inch from the right hand side. Making sure that those pages are in approximately the same place. Now we can burnish this down. Now, if you want to cover up these little hinges, a great way to do that is with some of that washi tape that came in your kit. So I've just added washi tape in those two sections, giving it a nice little glamorous sparkle. So there you have it. We have completed this gorgeous folio. But of course, you do have some extra bits and pieces left over. So if you want us to show you uh, just some fun examples of how you can use those, uh, you can make some great, gorgeous little tags and then top them with some of that ivory washi. So just with whatever scraps you've got left, you can make uh, various sizes of tags. You can even top them off with uh, different little scraps that you have. And then you can also make these fun little folders. So using that bundle of joy paper or the stamp paper, you can see we've got this cute little folder perfect for photos. We've got another one here. So, so much you can do with those leftovers. Now let me give you the tour with all those pockets stuffed with those extras. So we've got some tags up here in our diagonal pockets, you can see. And then in our large pockets, that's where we've stored these cuties. And then open that up and in this belly band, we've got one of those large folders. Then in our half pockets, we have the other two smaller little folders and then open up your wallet folder. And we've got this last one stuffed in here. So those additions really add a lot of extra places for photos, but even without those, you can see there's a lot of gorgeous uh, fun to be had. So we hope you enjoyed creating this folio with us. We'd love to see your projects, so go ahead and share those with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for joining us and happy paper crafting.